Hey there everyone, this is Jeff Perkins with JD Cutlery putting together a quick video on a new uh, brand company that uh, I've become a dealer with. It is Loin Ma Design. Um, these knives are very nice quality. Um, for anybody that knows anything about the Loin Ma design knives. They are being manufactured out of the same factory as Riate knives. So definitely the same level of quality, fit, finish, and the whole nine yards. So I'm very happy to say that I'm going to be carrying these. Um, this is my first order of five that I uh, got in and I'm very, very pleased with the quality, the design on them. Um, and how some of them were able to be manipulated by me with the coloring and the anodizing. So, um, got my first big package and uh, he had all kinds of extra little goodies. He had a cool pry bar that he threw in for me. Um, picked up uh, one of their little spinners. I'll probably end up doing some of these here in the new, near future. A lot of the little Velcro uh, badges. And uh, just so you guys know, as far as packaging, each one of the knives comes with a nice zipper case, a, uh, a bag that the knife goes in, a cloth for wiping it off. Uh, some of them have these in them, not all of them. And then the little card with a loin ma design and uh, has the company information on it. Um, so let's go ahead and jump into these one at a time. Uh, this was my first experience with them. I've seen uh, the Warrior version out there a lot uh, as far as being one of the, the big ones that's been around for a while and uh, I've seen it a lot in videos, a lot in pictures, but I had never actually owned one or had one in hand. So I was pretty excited to get this order in and we'll go ahead and just kind of run through these one at a time. I do have two of the Warrior One version twos with carbon fiber. I'll show you that in a minute. Um, this is the SDC1 uh, version 2 and that's all titanium uh, this cool little guy right here I'm really pleased with it's the GSDV 1 bling and then I'm really happy with that top one as well uh, that would be the Endeavor it came to me bronze but uh, you know me can't leave anything the way it comes so let's go ahead and jump into these one at a time Well, I guess since I left that one up at the top, that'll be the first one. So, this is a pretty sharp knife. This is the Endeavor. Um, really like the quality on this one. Uh, it is two pieces, so it's two slabs. There is no separate spacer in there. The two slabs are screwed together um, with no actual backspacer in it. Um, but the fit and finish is really nice. I went ahead and did a drizzle with this one together um, So I could get a real nice effect across the back since we didn't have that breakup point Left the drizzle in a natural titanium uh, This was bronzed and had been bead blasted. I went ahead and uh, Buffed it all up. This thing is crazy shiny in person we did the blue to purple to uh, yellow fade. Um, but just looking at some of the features, a lot of the type of stuff that you're going to see on Riate. Um, they're coming in. You've got this nice little pocket clip. It's a milled titanium pocket clip. And yes, there's no screw on the outside. So they're screwing up from the inside of the scale. This scale has the two screws that hold it together. This scale is nice and clean, nothing at all on it. Really happy with the way that looks. Definitely a biggie for me. It's got a lanyard hole. I haven't put any lanyards on these at this point, but uh, 
I'm a big fan of the lanyards. And I like how they sculpted it out so it looks like it's got a backspacer, but it's actually built into that handle. Really turned out nice. It gives it a nice appearance, great fit and finish. Looks like I gotta clean that off with a little Windex there. You guys know, as you play with these things, you get fingerprints on them. Spray the nice cotton cloth with some Windex. Um, and as much as I hate to say it, it really does pay to actually buy Windex. I've gotten some of the cheaper brands and that kind of thing, and it just doesn't clean quite as well. I think the alcohol content might not be as high. So I would highly recommend the Windex. Wipe it off and then uh, dry it off with a dry part of the towel. Um, other nice features I like when looking at this. You can see the back sides of the screws on this, but the heads, again, are on the inside. So giving you a cleaner look. Um, very unobtrusive pocket flipper. You do have a little bit of jimping, um, but this thing opens really nicely. It's got a nice flip to it. That blade is a neat design. I like the jimping at the top. I like the fuller with the cutout in there. Of course, you've got his design logo in there. All of his stuff appears to be S35VN that I've seen so far. So all five of these that I have here today are S35VN. Um, they do all have steel lock bar inserts, making sure that uh, you've got that steel on steel uh, lock up so you don't get the wear that you'd get if it was titanium on steel. And this one is just crazy looking. I really, really was pleased with this. When I hit the bronze uh, bead blasting with the buffer, it just flew right off of there. And at that point, I got excited because that's a lot less work. If you've got a heavy bead blasting, it takes a lot to buff it off, a lot of time, a lot of effort. I really like that this came off so clean and so nice. I'm hoping that these sell really nicely um, because I really like this one. This is a large knife, good size knife. That blade, every time I look at it, it's very similar to uh, that future. And uh, yeah, there's a nice new green future. Blue clip. You'll see that one again soon. Just did that one up. Um, I am officially now a Riate dealer as well. So you will see some of the higher end ones that I hadn't done quite so much of before in the past. I'm going to start carrying a little wider variety of theirs as well. Very happy with this knife. Good quality. Nice and smooth. Fits great in the hand. The bearing system on it is very nice. I believe they're on ceramic bearings and just flips like a champ. I like a bigger knife. This one fits the bill. And that was the Endeavor that used to be bronze. Let's go ahead and jump in here with the SDC-1 version 2. Um, this just came a regular bead blasted gray. I hit it with a nice green and then did a heavy bronze stone wash and hit the pocket clip and the backspacer with bronze as well as the hardware. Um, I like the little little flippers that he has. Oh, there you go. I say I like it and then I don't flip it accurately. Um, they're not big and obtrusive. Once you get used to the action on them, uh, they're nice and smooth knives. This one's definitely kind of a, a spear point blade. Got some fingerprints there. You've got satin finish on the flats and then a stone wash in the ground areas. Again, the S35VN. His uh, propri proprietary uh, symbol, I guess, or his design. Uh, lock up, you're probably about 40%. Nice steel lock bar. Got some jimping on the top and the bottom of this one. Sorry, I'm fingerprinting it up. It's pretty, 
pretty warm here. We got a bit of a heat wave going here in California. Um, I really like this one. I mean, this one, it's not as flashy as the Endeavor or that bling that's about to come up, but uh, it is a good, solid working knife. I think this one would take a licking and uh, would definitely give you give you all the uh, cutting capacity and uh, stand up to some pretty heavy work. It's a very solid titanium both sides. All of the hardware on this is titanium. Backspacer, pocket clip, again, milled out. Um, this one's a little bit less expensive than the Endeavor, so you got the screws on the outside, screw on the outside for the lock bar insert, that type of thing. Very cool little knife. This one, I just throw this sucker in my pocket for work and just, it just screams that you can beat the hell out of it and it would hold up nicely. So I really do like the look of that one. Let's go ahead and jump here on this bling. This thing has some serious purple blue hue going. There's a lot more purple in this than you're actually seeing in person or at least on camera. Uh, you don't see the purple on camera, it's due to the way the light hits it unfortunately. We've got a purple blue on the frame and then I did a high voltage uh, blue on the backspacer and the pocket clip. Now this one is one heck of a cool knife. Um, the factory and Loin Ma warned me about this when, when it came in. Uh, they do a lot of wire brushing on their titanium. That wire brushing leaves particles of uh, steel on top of the titanium. If you don't get that off and you try to anodize it, your colors get all jacked up. Electricity goes crazy. It's a real pain. This one has a slight orange peel to brush satin finish. The bling actually comes with a very, it's buffed out, but it's been wire brushed. So it has kind of a, a, almost a rough finish, but not really rough because it's been buffed out. So it gives you a shiny textured finish. Well, that textured finish was full of steel. So I ended up having to take this one. Uh, I tried to anodize it once after I had uh, Sonic cleaned it, put it in my Sonic cleaner did my acid rinse and everything and the, like I said it went crazy so a little bit more work but I tell you what I was so happy with this when I got it finished I really like the design of this knife this handle you've got the titanium so you got the titanium and these are one piece each side is just one piece so it's been milled out you've got this liner area that's milled out, then it widens up. You got a nice flat here, sculpted edge here. You come up here, you get a nice flat to rounded edge. Got another sculpt out. And the cutouts through the handle are really nice. Carbon fiber is flawless. No rough spots, no, no, no problems at all. The fit is pretty nice on it. Um, I really like the way the carbon fiber looks uh, against the colored anodizing. This one, you have your, your frame lock coming up, and it's actually underneath that carbon fiber. It gives it kind of a hidden feel, very classy looking. Um, this one, I was excited when I first ordered it. I was a little worried <laughs> when the anodizing didn't go right, but man, once I sat and finished that sucker, I am pleased. I will be doing many more of these. Um, I believe they've got one that's got a white insert as well, but man, this carbon fiber, it's nice. Good quality. I didn't do anything with anodizing the hardware on these because... Well, no, the hardware on this one isn't that, that finish. But I figured we already had enough color. It was looking good. Got your S35VN. I like that nice cutout. Got a heavy grind and then a nice satin finish in the flat. And again, loin maw design. 
Not sure if I'm saying that quite right. I'm going to need to actually talk to him on the phone. Everything I've done so far with him has been over email. But, uh, man, that sucker turned out nice. And I do like in their designs. Notice we don't have any pin back here as a blade stop. Blade stop is built into the blade. Everything's machined out in a circular motion and then it locks back into the titanium back right in here in the bolster area. It's a cool design. Really tight. Lockup is superb on it. Again, lock bar insert. This lock bar insert's tucked down in. The titanium comes up over the edge so you can't even see it when you're looking straight down. Cool. Definitely like that. Just attention to detail. They've got a lot of little details that are really nice. I like that we've got this crazy shaped lanyard hole. I mean, it's, it's a different shape. It's not just a circle. Pocket clip on this one. I've got it on the lock bar side as I'm a righty. He does set it up that you could put it on the left hand side. It gives you a little steel insert and a screw to hold it in so you don't just have that hole in the titanium. So that's a nice little nice little perk as well. Ah, uh, there you go. If you look down, you see the inside of that backspacer? That's kind of the texture that the knife came in before I did the satin finish. Much smoother. Like I said, you've got satin finish, almost a slight bit of orange peel in some areas, but pretty much satin finish on this. Purple blue, there's a lot more purple in person than the blue. This uh, little flipper is nice. Got a lot of jumping up it and on the top. It doesn't take much. It's just a push kind of in on this one. It's not necessarily, I guess it is back a little bit, but it gives the feeling of an in push because of the shape of the handle here where everything's milled out. Really happy with this. This is more of a medium sized knife. Again, S35VN. Fits in the hand really nicely. I really like this. Um, he's, he's got some real nice designs. Um, I saw that uh, he unveiled a couple new ones for the Blade Show. So I will be uh, looking at getting a few of those in as well. And then uh, Kaboom and Kaboom. The Warrior One. Um, I don't know how long uh, Loin Ma has been in business. I know I've seen these knives out here for a couple of years at least. Uh, the Warrior One is the one that I've seen the most of. Um, this came in a gray bead blast. I did a kind of a muted, uh, almost a, a subdued green back around. It's got a slightly gold drizzle that has blue edges to the gold drizzle. So I threw blue on the backspacer and pocket clip to tie in the edges of the drizzle. Again, cool shape pocket clip. And chow, right into that carbon fiber. Beautiful carbon fiber. Um, he's using good quality materials on these. Nice and smooth. Um, there's a milled line right here. It's, it's not so much a line, it's just a, if you look, see if the camera will pick it up, it's a, a bevel to it. So you can feel that little bevel, but everything's nice and smooth. The backspacer and the pocket clip. Again, not real big flippers on these, but they don't need to be. These things are flipping perfectly. Um, I like that aggressive blade. It's got that jimping there. This one fits nicely in the hand. It's not a giant knife, not a real big knife. I'd throw this in the medium category. Fits nice in the hand. Flips really well. Um, let's see if I can get this to focus here. That is, the texture here is what the texture of the bling came in. I tried to anodize this and this is the color I got out of it, but you know what? I felt, eh, it fits this knife, so I didn't go back and buff it or anything like that. I left it the way it was. It's kind of a bronzy, 
bronzy look to it. So again, S35V in, good quality steel, easy to sharpen, keeps a pretty good edge, and nice flipper. Locks in solid, titanium definitely lightens this knife up, and again, your blade has the lock bar or the blade stop built into it. So you see the blade stop coming up into that channel, locking in, and it locks in nicely. Very happy with these. These are a cool little knife. I like the carbon fiber titanium uh, combo on this one. I'm not always a big fan of it. Sometimes I like it, sometimes I don't. Lightens this knife up, gives it that cool second appearance versus the titanium. I really like it on this one. And the quality of the carbon fiber that he's using is very nice. So definitely a winner. This one went crazy, buffed the hell out of it, shined her up. Um, you got quite a bit of purple going into, I'm going to call this a watercolor because the color as I did this one just went crazy through it. You've got heavy purple through here. You've got blues coming up, different shades of blue, a shot of purple, a shot of purple. Then you've got blues reaching down into the green and you've got different tones of green coming up in this thing. It is a pretty cool knife does look like it's been watercolored so it's it is a neat one to look at in person the greens a little bit more green in person slight bit of yellowish green down in here it just has some crazy flowing color to it um, I went with the the purple blue backspacer to match it because it doesn't go very far in so I tried to keep, keep it solid same with the pocket clip didn't do anything to the hardware on this one carbon fiber again has a lot of life to it really catches that light nicely cool knife I really like the way these fit and feel in the hand we're about 30% lock up on this one. I don't think I had any problem at all with blade centering on any of these. They were all really nice. Sorry, I've got my cat running around here tearing up the house. It is his playtime. So, again, you have a nice purple going into blue with colors draining down into the green. It is a funky water color look. I'm hoping that when I take the pictures of this and send them out that they turn out really nicely. So um, there should be some pictures coming up very soon. Uh, none of these are posted on my website yet. I've got a bunch of different things going on right now. Um, we've got the Brea California Knife Show going on this weekend. So I will be there tomorrow. I've processed 30 knives that are not posted on the website right now that'll be going to that show. Um, once that show is open or completed this weekend, I will be uh, changing my website. It's still going to be the same at the www.jdcutlery.com. But we're going to go ahead and flip over from a web page to more of a storefront. Um, that hopefully will be easier for you guys to look through and see what's available, what I've got in stock, what's coming, that kind of thing. Um, I spend a ton of time moving pictures around, making the little PayPal buttons, looking to save some time on the website piece of things, and put it into more knife production. Um, you guys will see quite a big step up in what I've got in hand or on hand. Uh, over the next two weeks. We'll see how this uh, show goes. There will be a couple more videos coming out today, hopefully, if I've got the time to get into these, um, just so you guys can see what I've got going to the show. If you are interested and you are out of state, feel free to email me, jeff at jdcutlery.com, 
and uh, they don't necessarily have to make it to the show. I just like to have as much new stuff when I go to a show as possible. Well, thank you guys for tuning in. Like I said, very happy to be adding the Loin Maw Design Knives to, uh, to my repertoire as far as what's going to be carried uh, here in the future. Um, very good quality, very nice gentleman to work with, and uh, I'm looking forward to uh, seeing what new designs he has and what I can do to spice them up. Well, thank you again for tuning in, and we'll see you on the next one.